Hi everyone, my name is Simon. Welcome to rendering teardown section. Today we're going to have a look at this really interesting um, interior rendering, like a cool close up in a kitchen. So let's get started. The overall image is quite interesting. There are like many interesting details and uh, the subject itself is quite fun. The In terms of composition, so we're going to start there. The, the ID is quite efficient. There's like a, a background, a really clear foreground and some sort of middle ground where the, the focus is. The thing is, I'm a little bit, I'm not sure about two things. First one is the fact that the kettle is sort of a, like a, yeah, it's a coffee or whatever, sits right in the middle of the image. So that's not exactly where you want to put your main subject. Second thing is the, the framing itself. I'm sort of wondering if this would not be more interesting. Uh, maybe vertical or I don't know. I think actually vertically like that would be more interesting. Like you would have the shelves here and the the windows in the background would be like bigger so and in this way the having the well I call that a kettle whatever would be sitting somewhere on a third instead of right in the middle as you can see here so that's something to keep in mind in regards of the composition second thing I think is a little bit like there's there's the idea but it it's it's not done like it's not pushed far enough is the depth of field effect so basically there's one thing that well there's two reasons it's not done as much as it should first one is like um, really your focus is on this area here so the idea is really to have this blurred out um, way more than it is now and the second thing is that by having this blurred properly and having like a nice bulky, bulky effect is that you're actually gonna have like a much stronger light here and gets like a better sense of uh, like light flowing inside of your image so I can't really I'm not sure I, well, I'm gonna try something uh, bear with me smart object if I do that so that you get the idea it could be something like this uh, that. so it's obviously just Gaussian blur so it's not gonna look uh, as good as it should but if you have like if you have your DOF uh, your Z depth pass sorry in um, in Photoshop you can actually still change this guy properly so that's the idea of course it doesn't look as good as it should but you get the idea this guy actually uh, if I put that you could also s sort of start to get some sort of uh, out of focus thing here anyway that's the idea and the second thing is that uh, that sort of lacks here if you put it in black and white uh, like this sorry if you put it in black and white you can see that the the contrast is not really strong so what you can do is use your levels to actually enhance it and the idea behind that is also maybe by using a burn and dodge tool to actually enhance again uh, with that guy that guy enhance again the um, the light flowing well, not that much the light flowing inside of your image so that would be quite fun this I might the yeah well the problem is that if it were like a proper bucky effect calculated in the rendering it would look much better here we're just having like a Gaussian blur so it's it's not really not really fun anyway we have that uh, like that I'm gonna let it that way 
second thing I think is a little bit problematic here is the um, the modeling and texturing basically here you can see there are like tiny in terms of modeling first you can see here there's like a lack of uh, like the mesh is really simple so you can actually see there are some kind of problematic uh, like it doesn't look real enough so that's not really con uh, convincing it's the same here with this uh, jar here that is like everything is quite sharp and the problem is when you're doing close-ups you really have to have like strong uh, modeling like something really really nice you cannot have any sh perfectly sharp edges because it doesn't really exist and you cannot have like once something is supposed to be rounded you cannot have uh, some sort of like uh, edges like that or faceted uh, faces because it, it will look real so that's the first thing regarding the modeling really be careful with this in terms of texturing it's well it's interesting because the overall texturing is okay uh, I mean the the chrome like here is okay and all these sort of uh, different uh, surfaces are good the thing is it's a little bit too too clean so what I like basically this sort of thing you would expect some sort of slight fingerprints and stuff like that maybe you would expect like um, like coffee stains or things like that you could also think there would be uh, like the the gas under the the kettle and maybe these would be a little bit worn out and you know all these kind of details that really add up to the the story because that's the whole thing i think that could be interesting is that this is a little bit too too clean and when you're doing close-up you have to add as many details as possible in terms of modeling and in terms of uh, storytelling if i'd say if i may say so maybe it's uh yeah coffee stains i was also thinking maybe you could have like the silhouette of the guy who's uh warming up his uh kettle here in the background maybe he's talking with someone um opposite to her or him or whatever and the thing is since they're out of focus it's just like simple blurred out silhouettes but it still creates some sort of uh, the idea that the space in inha is inhabited which is a good thing I think that's that's pretty much the whole thing there's another really small problem with the, the saturation at some point uh, basically the saturation of the overall image is a little bit too high but the mm, biggest issue is with the sort of wooden parts here because they're way too like this is not really this kind of saturation you can only have it with uh, this sort of uh, colors or hues like really bright orange or yellows or reds or stuff like that but basically once you're dealing with a sort of, sort of natural hues it can never really be super saturated especially if it's in the like in the dark like that with uh, like a not a direct lighting but, but beside that it's really interesting uh, image i really think it's just a matter of uh focusing on the depth of field and having maybe just trying a little bit more uh playing a little bit more around with the the framing but yeah overall really good job uh so yeah i'll finish this here hopefully you've learned some interesting tips for your close-ups and uh be able to integrate them in your next renderings. Thanks guys, bye.